Tuesday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet, it is time for Shift Your Thinking Tuesday. Wow, I feel like it's been a century. I missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. It's so funny when I have everything set up and I've been accustomed to doing it a certain way. And then when I had to deviate from the norm when I was in Baltimore, it just kind of threw me off track. And this weekend was fantastic. So for those of you who came out uh, to the events this weekend, amazing, amazing time, amazing time. And there's just so much happening. There is so much happening, y'all that I just wanna first be in gratitude. So Shift Your Thinking Tuesdays is a space to be in gratitude. Be sure you invite someone and have them be a part of what we're doing. Good morning, on TV. Let someone know what we're doing. Hit that share button, invite them, jump in and say hi, say hello. We are on episode 51. We doing it, y'all. We are doing it, and I feel so happy about this. This morning was a struggle, just kind of, sort of, but um, I made it through, so it's all good. So let me just fix myself. <laughs> this is like something happening with my camera shirt, and my computer's doing some weird. Shout out to, um, let's see, let me hear. Boom. Shout out to the Instagram fam who are joining in to Shift Your Thinking Tuesday, where we transform our inner experience by 13 minutes of our day to a phenomenal outer experience. We do it together. We grow together. We connect, build, and share. All right. So for those of you who are following along, Shift Your Thinking by Dean Del Sesto, 200 Ways to Improve Your Life. So yes, 200 ways we are covering every week. We are in number 51 which makes this the 51st episode. And I'm on the section that says, no conversation is complete without a conversational risk. You hear that? No conversation is complete without a conversational risk. I just wanna put this in here as episode, boom. my logistics you know at some point we're going to have like some fancy stuff happening at some point fancy stuff happening but for now it's me showtime all right i called this section risk going deeper risk going deeper the author says there's no such thing as a boring conversation I could go off right now, like right here on this, because that's one of my like pet peeves a little bit. Uh, sometimes you hear children say that I'm bored and being bored is a very personal challenge. That's a personal issue. <laughs> so he says there are only bored people who integrate their boredom into conversations as well as other areas of life. Boring people, boring people have boring conversations and then they try to transfer that energy to you. Let them know that's personal. That is personal. He says, let's face it. Conversational complacency is a commonplace today. The empty pleasantries of dancing on the surface of people's lives seem the norm when real richness, listen to this, real richness exists in engaging at a deeper, more intimate level. Ooh, 
yummy, yummy, yummy. I like at the more deeper, intimate level because that's where it is. Dig deep, people. Risk going deeper. This is why I said risk going deeper. And you don't have to be, you don't have to pry. So there's ways. It's the art of conversation. There's tons of books on art of conversation, by the way, and communication and so forth. So he says, discovering what is really going on with people is the beginning of relationship and it can be done without being obtrusive simply by asking great questions. Ones that challenge, open up and reveal what is real for a person. We can stop there and we can build real quick. Yeah, I think this is a good place to build. Hey King, shout out, thanks for joining. It's like uh, people popping in on the Instagram. That's so amazing. I am really having fun with all this technology. And by the way, if you guys haven't gotten hip to the Instagram TV, um, they've launched the ability to run up to 10 minute segments. And of course, if you're kind of a, a, a bigger uh, Instagram uh, person, like followers and stuff like that, celebrities, they can do up to an hour. So. Let me say this, by 2020, it was statistically quoted that an estimated half of our population, 50% 50 of our population will be streaming, watching TV from their mobile. So doing Shift Your Thinking Tuesdays isn't far-fetched right now from what's happening in reality. Uh, people are willing to listen to up to three hours of a radio podcast. Imagine that. So we were competing with the attention span of a goldfish, but yet we can listen to three hours of a podcast and now watch Facebook, watch YouTube and Instagram TV. So get hip to what's going on. If you are an uh, entrepreneur, a business owner, if you're a person that is a, of seeking talent and connecting with your audience and your tribe and building a community, Pay attention to what these platforms are doing because that is the way the, to go. That is the way they're going. Right now, they have not allowed advertising yet on Instagram TV, but they said they will be allowing it soon. So listen to that in terms of your dollars per reach. Dollars per reach. It's very inexpensive to market to a very large audience when you're advertising or your boosting post. So I just wanted to say that. I just, it had someone, someone needed to hear this real quick because I just processed that. So I wanted to build right here as he was saying, challenging opening questions, right? So ask questions that challenge, open up and reveal what is a real, what is real for a person. And again, this goes back to feeling connected. You know, if you notice on social media, it's very, they promote, social media platforms promote connectivity. How do they do that? We have the ability to make communities and groups where people who are only interested in a certain thing get to get together. Did I see that? Get to get to get together. <laughs> get together in a group and share like-minded interests. And that's a great marketing strategy. Uh, and I thank you all who've added me to these groups. I'm part of like 80 groups, y'all. Like, yeah, you guys really have some love for me. I just wanna say thank you for people who find value and have been adding me. Hey, Devante, people who find value and have added me to these groups because they either the positivity shift your thinking uh my quirkiness sometimes <laughs> uh everything i do that's real estate related people are finding value so i really appreciate that and i'm saying it's important that once you're in these groups and communities are being built hey sis when people when people are building communities in these groups and you're wanting to feel connected jump in there and ask the questions and engage like it is a space to engage. If you want to ask something and build and dig deeper, you can do that offline. So again, we still should be working on the art of 
getting to know people on a deeper level beyond the surface, because in an era right now where people are inundated with faux pas, inundated with faux pas, all the fake, they are craving authenticity, real people, real ish happening, real oopsies happening, real raw and challenging. That way everyone is like, oh, it's not so perfect because social media, as we all know, and this is a real thing that's happening. There's Facebook depression happening. There's, you know, suicidal thoughts and different things because people are watching the highlights of people's lives. So it's a fine line, especially when you're dabbling between your personal and your business or professional life and you're using social media. It's, you know, I like I said, I've watched people use social media as a digital journal. This is your digital footprint. So be intentional on in what you want to share, but also you can be respectful and authentic to who you are, right? And so for those people who are wanting to connect, and those of you who are actually not shy at all, hey Koi, those of you for who, who are not shy at all and have jumped into my DMs, right? You slide into my DMs and in my inbox and have asked me the questions and really have acknowledged and I see you and you see me and those people, depending on what it is, we've exchanged numbers and then we kind of build offline. That's what we should be doing is being able to find a space and a place to build offline, which is why meetups, more and more of them are becoming more and more important because people are really creating these online communities. And we still want one ultimate thing. There are a couple of things, but the ultimate thing is to do what? Get connected, feel connected. How do we do that? We ask the questions. We ask the opening up questions, the challenging questions, the real questions, so that we're digging beneath the surface. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Time, my time is, we're going. So he says, for example, when he talks with strangers, he says, I won't ask the standard question, how are you today? Because what I'll get back, he says, will be a stock answer designed to end the conversation or cover up what is really going on. Mm. He says, you will find me asking, so what is your vision in life? That's so funny. Do you get those? <laughs> I've seen those comments on my page. It's like, what is your, what is your purpose? What is your goal? Are you living your best life? I appreciate those questions. I just, it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> he says, or what are you passionate about? And I think that's just kind of, there's an art to doing that, by the way. You kind of just don't jump into somebody's face and say, hey, what are you passionate about? And it's like, yo, whoa, let me, give me some space here. Let me think about this. Uh, there's ways of doing that. Rapport building, rapport building. They always look puzzled and a bit intrigued at first, he says, but often they start talking openly about their life and what could have been a go nowhere wordplay, he says, turns into a legitimate conversation. Although it's just a few minutes of dialogue, he says, I get to encourage them in their vision. I love that vision. I love that. Encourage them in their vision, passion, or dream and make a new friend in the process. The key is to become expert at inquiry. Oh, I like that. Expert at inquiry. Mm, take some time to engineer a series of thought provoking questions that inspire communication rather than shut it down and you'll have discovered the secret to drawing out what is amazing in people, all people. Oh my goodness, that was so good. I really appreciate this one today. This was a friendly reminder about going deeper. Let's not be afraid to ask the questions and really comes from a place I'm just checking on that other human, that other human being that is having this experience here with you. So I leave this with you. Be sure to ask someone something that goes beyond the surface, 
find your go-to question as you're rapport building with that person and get to know them beyond the surface because in a time where we are craving genuine people, authenticity to go through the facade, blow through the smoke, let us be mindful. We are here to create, cohabitate together. Have a productive and powerful week, you guys. I love you, love you, love you. Oh my goodness, this was so fun.